Good morning, everybody. It's September. It's like the beginning of September. I can't remember the date. It's after September 11th, though. I think it's the 12th. Well, the 13th. Um, anyway, I got up this morning. It's really super foggy out. I wanted to show you what it looks like when it gets foggy around here. This is like the... I want to say it's been foggy like maybe 7 of the last 12 to 13 days. I haven't been able to catch it on video because uh, I just have morning chores inside and all the animals take care of. By the time I get outside, it's gone. Um, it's sticking around a little bit longer today, so I wanted to show you what it looks like. You can't really see the end of the driveway and you can see... Up, this has actually dissipated since the first time I came outside. I had to come outside like 10 minutes ago or maybe about 20 minutes ago and it's sticking around. So I'm going to give you a quick view of what it looks like around here when it is foggy out because when it's foggy it is very foggy and it's been very foggy this this um, late summer. Late summer, yeah. We had a few 60 degree days but then it got up to 80 again. So when it cools down overnight, the fog that sets in is really impressive. Sometimes when I look out of the back window, the um, slider over the hay field that's beside our house over here, it reminds me of that movie, The Others, where it's just like a dense fog the whole time and then dead people walk out of it, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if you've seen the movie, you might get the reference, but we don't want any dead people trying to find their way home through this fog because creepy. All right, so this is the neighbor's. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but the neighbor's house is right there and you can't even see it from where I'm standing. Well, you might be able to see it a little bit, but it's really hard to see. I'm gonna show you the hay field across the street. It's really super foggy. I'm catching it before it before the sun comes out. I don't even know if the sun's coming out today, but before it actually settles and dissipates altogether. Look how foggy it is. I can see it in the camera. Usually I can't see it, but I can see it today. This is the road. Can't see down the road. That way. Richmond, that way. Can't see down the road that way. I can hear somebody coming though that I can hear. It might be, they might be farming actually. They've been haying the fields lately. As you can see this field is all hayed. Super low. Here, I think someone's coming. Hold this up here so it looks fairly natural. So then when they emerge from the bog, yeah, see him? They certainly are cruising for a foggy day. They're going pretty fast. Okay, uh, here's the fog across the road in the hay field. As I was saying, they just they just hayed the field. Um, it was at least this high. See how tall this is? Uh, first they came through and they chopped it all down and then the, hay the hayers, they bailed it all up and then the trucks came and took it. Not too long ago. They did the field behind my house too. Um, there's some, still some big round bales there. But here this field is, I think this field will be hayed one more time before snow falls, maybe. It feels like a Sunday but it's just a Tuesday. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's the other way. We're kind of watching it dissipate slowly before our eyes right now, actually. I'm not gonna do a time lapse of that. That would take forever. Forever in a day. It's not that far away. The fog line is not that far away. It's like, I could easily toss something from here to the fog line. I know on, the, on video it looks further or farther. It farther, it looks farther, but I could toss them, not throw it, because I can throw far. I could literally just pick up a rock and toss it to that area right there. That's how close the fog is. So it'd be fun to plan if you 
if you could really conceal yourself, it'd be fun to play in like tag or nighttime tag or I don't know, whatever that night 52 flashlight, whatever it is that they play outside with trees. You could actually probably do it with a fog today. All right, so I'm gonna take some video on the way up the drive. See up the driveway, you can, can barely even see the house. It's pretty exciting, I love fog. And it's really warm out this morning. Whoops, my hands in the way, sorry. It's really, well, it's pretty warm out for morning anyway. For September, I have a feeling it's gonna be a warm fall this year. Maybe we'll have a moist, precipitous winter. It'd be nice if it would snow down here. I mean, every now and again it snows, you know, a big storm every now and again. I used to snow so much when I was a kid that it snowed a lot. Like, sorry guys, I haven't had breakfast yet. It used to snow a lot. Yeah, okay, that was great. <laughs> um, can you see this? Hold on. Oh, I can't see it. There's a spider web right up here. This one? You can't really see it with the. There it is. The big spider web. They're all over the tree. I'm not going to be able to see it. Here's another one over here. all kinds. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get you to... They're, all, they're almost hard to see in person um, when I'm looking through this way. Oop, there. There's one. Whoops, where is it? There. It's big. There's like, uh, they're all through the tree. There's like six of them or eight of them. Big ones. Um, again, if you could see, let me see if I can hold this right. There's one right there. One right there. One big one up there. Um, another one up there. Another one up there. Another one up there. There's like a cluster right there. All right, so the spiders are busy, and also <clears throat> the brown tail moths are busy. Uh, we're in Maine, so I don't know what kind of insect or vermin or um, just like pest issues that you have where you live, but here in Maine we have a crisis with brown tail moth a lot. Let's see if I can. There's a big nest right there. There's nests all over. But our yard doesn't have that many compared to other people. I mean, they can't even go outside. They can't even touch the surfaces of picnic tables or even their vehicles sometimes. Any surfaces outside would have like the little spiny, sticky parts. I don't, they get into your skin. The parts of the caterpillar, they get into your skin. And um, so wherever the caterpillars roam around, they drop these parts of their fur onto surfaces. I've heard nightmare stories of people going to public picnic areas not realizing that the entire picnic area was covered the stuff that they moved off it was actually brown tail moth like pickies whatever it is that gets in your skin the whole tops were covered of these picnic tables they didn't know it so they just moved it off oi 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 would not want to be them anyway so i hope you enjoyed that little tour let's see how it's dissipated since we, since we've been up here i don't know
this is an after shot look this way now look down the driveway maybe it's dissipated a little. I think it has okay okay Tony Tony asked me to come outside to get I said he asked me what I was doing outside and I said oh just getting some video of the fog before it dissipates and also um like spider webs and things like that and he said did you get the one on my wheels on my Camaro and I said no he said you should go out there and get it so here I am let's see how impressive it is let's see he said the front wheels but I think he meant the two on the left side okay. I'm gonna flip this around I'm gonna show you what the impressive spider webs look like I can see one from here hold on Well, he was not wrong. That is impressive. It's been a busy little spider. What about this one? Look, oh, hand goes this way. There, 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 there. One right there. One right there. Big one right there. Really big one. Oh, look at this, you guys. Hold on. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if you can see it. From the mirror. Whoops. From the mirror to, and it like comes to the car. It's right there. Here, let me show you. I'm gonna put this around. You can see it. I can't really see it through there. It's right here. It's right here. There it is. Where's it go? Where'd it go? Goes. That one's a little harder to see because it's it's just one line from here down oops down to the car. But they are busy. Spiders are trying to find their way inside this time of year, trying to find a way to stay uh, dry, protected. I don't know if they need to feel warm per se because they're insects, but they are looking for ways to get inside and. I hope they don't make a nest in this car because that would be very unfortunate. Okay, that's good for now.